the university wanted a facility that was about the students, not just a particular college or department within the university, but a university resource where students can come together, interact with one another, interact with faculty, interact with industry partners, and work on their ideas, a place that they can bring their ideas, work together, and develop them and get them to the marketplace. So we've been working with this tag of taking ideas from concept to the marketplace. So this is that type of facility that provides spaces and, and resources, uh, the technology that students need to, to develop their ideas. The first criteria we use in this building is how does this support students? And where we can bring our industry partners in, internships, folks that we can develop here that go to work and do a better job when they hit the ground running with uh, organizations, that's what it's all about. Well, if you, if you look at our uh, strategy for this building too, was, it to, was to have it be very flexible. And so the technology that we've put in the building is supposed to allow it to migrate to the emphasis areas that we see that we want to have at the university. So a lot of it's unpredictable at this point. So how that occurs, it's almost like self-directed learning. You're trying to give an environment that people can learn how to best use it to apply to you know, their, their educational needs. And so what I'd say is, is that a lot of that hasn't been defined. And, and this building was built with that in mind, was not to dictate exactly how it's going to be used, but to allow a lot of latitude from the professors, the administration here, to allow it to morph in a direction as the university morphs and as higher education morphs. One of the things that we did had the raised access floor system. Um, that allows us to carry all of our utilities underneath the floor. Um, providing some flexibility so when we do reconfigure space we don't have to reconfigure the mechanical systems, we don't have to get up in the ceiling, um, do a lot of construction and then accompanied with that are the demountable wall systems that we have throughout the building. Um, that allows us to easily reconfigure the building, reconfigure the spaces, create larger spaces when we need them, create smaller spaces when we need it and uh, really meet the dynamic need of this building through flexibility. One of our goals was to have the architecture and our furniture components very um, mobile and flexible so as the program needs um, changed, these components could serve those ever-changing needs of, of the users. Um, so our, most of our furniture are on wheels. Um, the tables flip up and you can roll them out of the door, which I think is an awesome feature. They, they really are able to share information and to look at information from different viewpoints in a way that we were never able to do because the classrooms just wouldn't support that type of interaction. So I think that's really a distinctive nature of the building too, is that it offers so many ways of expression and creativity that, that that's really opening us up to a whole new way of looking at education. I believe that the elements that we see and are characterized and utilized in this building are those that really define our future. But it's more than define it, but it is essential. I did not expect the students to take on to this building as quickly as they did. Um, you know, it's one of those things in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, they're gonna come, they're gonna, kind of get used to it, maybe be a little hesitant or timid to use some of the spaces or to check them out or to play with the technology. But immediately, as soon as this building opened, it was full of students. And not only was it full of students, not only were they filling the tables and every project room was, was full with groups and studying, they were using the technology, they were interacting, they were touching, they were feeling, they were connecting, um, and, and they, they caught on it really quick. And that was a great surprise. So a lot of people make the comment when they come in and they say, uh, uh, does it look like what you thought it would? And I said, it is fantastic. We had a model when we visited Hayworth and their building. I think there's several things about this building in terms of how Clemson will move forward. You know, this is obviously a landmark project for the university if you visit any of their other buildings or projects on campus. Um, you know, the whole idea with this building was to think about Clemson's future. 
I just don't think you can quite visualize all the features of flexibility and education uh, until you, you see it.